Oh, it's Max Geyser. What's going on, everybody? It is Nexus Complex, and we are back for Game 4. We're knocking them out early this week. Game 4, Arcanines Arena, Draft League. We are currently 2-1. We had a tough loss against Cody yesterday morning. Now we're playing Jonathan and the Sacramento Skarmory. They are currently 0-2, um, but that's not indicative of how good a player Jonathan is or how this team can function. So we definitely have to be on our A game, even though they're 0-2. They are a solid team. That being said, I feel like Genesect does very well here. And a lot of this is just to protect Genesect. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I feel like if I support Genesect appropriately and don't let him get hit by fire, we will win this game. He has a lot of weakness to bug and steal. There's a lot of psychic types, a couple fairies, a couple ice. Um, Genesect also gets really good coverage. So there's Nagandal. I'm packing Psychic for that. Um, I didn't bring Blizzard because I think that I'm going to keep the... Ideally, I keep the weather uh, water. He's got two Hail Sitters. I want to keep... Rain up is what I want to do. So Finny has rain, Sableye has rain. This is all just to keep Genesect standing upright. Yeah. He knew that they had the weakness. Tornadus has Tailwind. Do we bring Finny? I think we just go full on offense here. Yeah, that's what I think. I really wanted to bring Aerodactyl for the Tailwind, but I think, depending on the leads, I might be able to make this work. I'm guessing it's going to be Mew Tornadus. That's what I would lead with if I was this team. So I'm expecting Tailwind. We're just going to go right into it. So Mew is faster than Genesect. Guessing he's probably gonna go Flamethrower. I'm expecting Tailwind Flamethrower. So we're gonna try to get the Rain Dance here.
Ooh, self so popping the weakness policy. So we'll see if this flamethrower kills me in the rain. Here we go. I went all special defense investment. So we'll see if he kills me here, it's it's over. Because I really just went hard Genesect on this team. Oh, it's Max Geyser. So we get rid of Mew, that's nice. If we can take one more thing out, that would be fantastic. So we know it's got U-turn. Torcat has fake out. What do we do? Try to let's see if we can go before Torcat. If we go before Torcat, this could be good. Ooh, the taunt. So this max lightning should KO. Not sure what's in the back. Indeed. So we're going to give up on our Dynamax here. Um, I think Genesect is obviously the target. I'm expecting like an expanding force. So what we're going to do is send out Tapu Fini. Get up the terrain so they can't expanding force. I was expecting a fire move into Genesect. We got the rain on our side. Payback should hit Entity pretty well. Payback should hit really hard. Very nice. And we'll see if we can muddy water to pick up the double KO here. Parting shot. I think with the rain boost, we should still do a good amount here. Of course, we have to hit something for it to actually work. Alright, so we'll pick up the KO on Eendity. We still taunted. So one more turn of taunt. So we're gonna pay back Torcat, and I guess just muddy water again. See if it hits. I don't think there's much this Torcat can really do to me. I can just drop my special attack. So the taunt stopped, so we're gonna try to pick up the KO with the muddy water here. See if we can stop the Torque from doing anything. See if the muddy water picks up the KO. Alright. 
So there we go. The plan worked out. Thank gosh we killed that Mew before it really got rolling. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit more about the match in the post game, but well played, Jonathan. You had a really good plan. Um, I think if I wasn't as familiar with Mew, it would have probably gone a little bit better, but I liked what you did, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the post game. All right, so great win. Um, 4-0. Easily could have been 4-0 the other way, honestly. Um, Mew getting the weakness policy was super scary. When I saw that Max Geyser hit and I saw that HP bar dropping, I was like, oh my god, if Genesec dies here, that's it. We get swept. Like, Raikou could maybe kill something, but it wasn't going to bring us all the way back. So, whew, thank gosh I had, um, why am I saying gosh? Thank god I had Max Special Defense on that Genesect, or that would have been a bad time. <laughs> Um, using the range as advantage was an extremely smart play by Jonathan. Um, and it wasn't something I was expecting. I have Cinderace. I don't know why I wasn't expecting him to max Geyser, but great play on his part. It just, the damage roll didn't go his way. And we, we get the win. Um, Sableye played perfectly. Um, <laughs> I brought Payback because of all the Psychic types on their team. And Sableye is really slow. I almost never put speed investment in him because he has Prankster. So instead of just being a fake out pivot, especially with uh, Endity on the other side of the field, we brought Payback uh, almost exclusively for Endity. Um, not to not to lie to you guys, I knew that the fake out would be stopped in Psychic Terrain. I honestly expected a Psychic lead. Um, we brought Finny. We literally calked it so that Finny undersped the Endity. 100% so we knew that no matter what happened even if we both led with our terrain setters that we would be the terrain that won out um, Raikou didn't make an appearance didn't need to uh, I always like when I just have to use three Pokemon generally means I, I played a good game um, Skarmory fall to 0-3 they're still a great team I, I like the addition of Entity Mail they are going to be a formidable opponent later in the season. They've got a tough climb up, but both of those trainers are very good. I could see them making a push. We move to three and one. Uh, we now are, I think we're guaranteed to be second place in division two. Um, at the very least tied for second in division two. We have two more weeks left before the playoffs. Four more very difficult games. So I guess since I'm done here, I'm going to start prepping. I don't really have any more thoughts there. Um, like I said, rain was crucial to keep the Genesect upright. I knew if I did that, I'd have a really good shot at winning. And thankfully I was able to KO that view after weakness policy or I would have had a bad time. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I have been Nexus Complex and I will see you guys. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go